In Akron, Ohio, a suspect sneaks into a junkyard to allegedly steal catalytic converters for a third time until the forklift operator finally gets fed up. What's your name, man? Benny Carter. Um, I, none of your business, bro. Well, it is, because you're oh, under arrest. Bro. You're under oh. arrest. For, for what? For trespassing, for one. And I was running from someone, bro. When he called me on the radio, come down with the load. Yeah. I mean, I scooped him. Raised him up. So the, <laughs> the car was bouncing up like this. So he was arrested for trespassing and possessing criminal tools. But the interesting thing is, stopping crime with forklifts is nothing new and a global phenomenon. Forklift driver steps in and stops behind the car, boxing in the car. The driver was held by employees until police finally arrived. Because the useless class is learning that stealing from somewhere like a shopping mall is vastly different than stealing from somewhere filled with blue collar working men. As we covered recently, thieves getting hogtied outside Home Depot is relatively new, but carpentry and vigilantes apparently go hand in hand. Which really makes me wonder why, and let me know in the comments what you think this is, but whenever you see someone complaining about harsh punishments for crime, over-policing, or two-way, it never seems to be the blue-collar dads from Home Depot, the forklift operators at a junkyard, or anybody that works hard and is abundantly aware that they are 100% responsible for their own safety. Why does it always seem to be the people people that need the most protection in life? When did the defenseless class become so adamant that no one be able to protect them? I genuinely don't understand it. But one thing that I do want to cover is how even though this guy looks tragic, catalytic converter theft is becoming an increasingly bigger problem across the US. As recently they've been busting rings, making over half a billion dollars off the thefts from California to New Jersey. And they're not the only ones profiting millions of dollars from this. So much that we now see a Lamborghini Urus involved in stealing catalytic converters. And in case you're not in the market for a brand new Lambo SUV, these vehicles cost over a quarter million dollars. Maybe that's why kids dressed up as catalytic converter thieves for Halloween, since apparently it pays like being an NFL star without the CTE. So we cover a lot of these crimes on this channel jokingly, but I think that we're officially past the point of no return. As I'm leaving Deep Blue LA specifically due to lawlessness, so I'm taking my taxes, my spending, and most importantly my vote to a place that won't tolerate subsidizing these unemployed behaviors. So if you appreciate my concise, might order commentary that will one day not be recorded in my kitchen slash living room, hopefully I've earned your subscription, then go check out the video on how California vigilantes are finally doing what the cops cannot.